Well, when you've been up there and out there spacewalking, any special challenges or danger period? Um, danger, uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I would probably say as I look back at it, everybody wants to do spacewalks. Spacewalks are incredible. They're fun. They're interesting. They're hard work, though. And uh, uh, when I look back on it, I probably think that's probably the most dangerous thing in my life that I've ever done. Um, helicopters are a close second, but, <laughs> but spacewalking is probably the most dangerous thing. Uh, but you're relying 100% on your own spacecraft, which means your suit, and so you want to check it out beforehand and make sure it's working. And I've hugged my suit every single time I've come back in the hatch because it's kept me alive. I'm here with my two buddies. Uh, in the airlock. Actually, these are two spacesuits uh, that are ready, primed up to go outside, as we call it, to go do a spacewalk in case we have to do anything outside. So now, being out there and doing tasks is a whole nother story. That, you know, that's just going out in the suit and getting back. Doing the tasks, sometimes nobody else has done them in the world. You know, sometimes you go, oh, we've practiced it in the pool a hundred times, but realistically, the things that we've done out there, nobody else has done. So you don't know if it's actually going to work like it's advertised to work. High above the uh, southeastern Pacific, tracking northeasterly at an altitude of 220 miles, Sonny Williams in a foot restraint on the end of the shuttle's robotic arm. She's now being uh, maneuvered down to the uh, payload bay to uh, assist uh, with the attachment of uh, debris shield. So it's, it's an emotional roller coaster, actually doing spacewalks, because you, uh, I think sometimes you're you're overjoyed, you're psyched you're out there, you're scared to death, you're hot, you're cold, you're happy because everything works, you're bummed out because something doesn't work, and so it's, uh, it's pretty much uh, the, the gamut. And um, you come in and you're ready to go to sleep. <laughs>